Hey everybody, welcome to How to Graph Exponential Functions Part 2. This is Nicholas JMV, and today we're going to talk about y equals b to the x, but our, v val our b value is going to be between 0 and 1. This is what we call exponential decay. So this is the general form of the graph, okay? Domain and range still stay the same, all real numbers for the domain, 0 to infinity, and for the range because it's above the axes. This is a decreasing function, okay? The horizontal asymptote remains the same, and the key points are the same, except for in this case, they're actually going to change from the last example. So instead of having 1B, they actually switch places. So you'll, you'll see what I mean by that. Like, you know, when we have 1 to the B, that's actually going to be over here now because of the, 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 the fraction that we're going to have here. It's going to take the reciprocal. So it's really interesting to see. So let's just look at one example that I have, okay? So we're going to graph Y equals one-third to the x, there's what I mean. It's between zero and one. So even if I, if I put four thirds here, that's still growth. This number b has to be between zero and one for us to have decay. The domain, if I wanted to draw the domain here of my function, if I wrote it down here, is it all real numbers, okay? And the range here is from zero uh, to infinity, okay? So, uh, and it's not including zero because it's an asymptote. So when I graph this function, okay, uh, there's, a, again, a lot of ways you can do this. My B value is one-third. So, again, do you remember the key points? Zero, one. Okay, so let's go ahead and plot that zero, one right there. And then you had one B. One B. Now, this is what I mean it switches. One B, when B is greater than one, it was that nice big number, one to the third, one to the fourth, if you saw, or one comma four, one comma three, if you did the last video when B was uh, three and B was four when I graphed those two. Now it's one third, so you're going to have one and one third, which is down here. Okay, when I do negative one, remember negative one comma one over B. Well, one divided by one third is three, so you're going to have one and three here. And so here's my graph. I'm going to just turn it so I can try to do this a little more accurately. There's our graph of our exponential function, y equals one third to the x, okay, we got our domain and range there. And again, you can also use a table of values. Always, no matter what you graph in, in, in pre-cal here, we can use a table of values. You could have used negative one, zero, one. One third to the one is one third. Anything to the zero power is one. And then one third to the negative one, the properties say flip it, so this would be three. So you can use a table of values. You can try to remember the key point idea. It's up to you, but here's the graph that functions. So if you have any questions or comments, type them below, and we will see you next time. Thanks.